What I want to talk about in the title of my little talk, and it has been, which is a subtitle of my uh, last published book, which uh, is a condemna Condemnation of Little B, is New Age Racism in America. And somebody asked me this morning about whether I thought this had something to do, what, was I speaking about people who were, you know, using crystals, you know, um, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> And in a way, I am, because what happens in, the, you know, at some point we started talking about mind and body and the connection, and we understand that connection. And we, we talk about things like, well, you know, we can control some of the things that happen in our lives if we eat better foods, if we don't smoke, if we don't do this. You remember there was a period when, well, you probably don't remember this, but it used to be spray deodorant. <laughs> was, you know, shh, like this, right? <laughs> and they said, well, if you use that, you're messing up the ozone, ozone layer. Now, all these chemicals <laughs> that are being produced by all these big companies, but I'm going to mess up the ozone layer. <laughs> and, you know, and, and the recycling piece. Well, we have to all do our part. Let's not use plastic bags. Let's do... The bom bombs are being dropped in Iraq. Let's get down to the stuff that's really messing up the planet, okay? <laughs> so, and that doesn't mean that this doesn't count, that we don't have some personal responsibility. But what happened is we began to think that it's your fault you have cancer. Because you don't eat your right vegetables, you know? If you just ate some carrots and broccoli, you wouldn't have cancer. As though carrots came, and it all came from, from a certain food. And that's not to count where the food's coming from anyway. And that would mean that we would have a problem if we lived in the hood, because you cannot be a vegan in the hood, you know? <laughs> you're not going to get any fresh vegetables. <laughs> so I guess you're going to have cancer. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we started thinking that everything was the individual choice, you know? And it's really a matter of choice. You know how now we say, well, he chose to do that. As though you had chosen to come into this planet and into this world. You had anything to do with that. I learned that from Jamil Alamine recently. That it occurred to me that I thought I would have control over so much. And I, found, I realized that I actually have nothing to do with a whole bunch of things, like how I even got here. <laughs> you know, it was a surprise to me. I thought I was so, you know, we were, we were very arrogant in the 60s. We thought the revolution was going to come in our lifetime and we were going to make it happen just because we suddenly woke up one morning and thought something was wrong, as though nobody else had ever had this idea ever and ever tried to do anything. <laughs> so this whole new age concept, and I put this to racism because this was another kind of way of, 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 of speaking about race in America. And, and I say it was inaugurated and inculcated by Bill Clinton, Hillary's husband. 